a whole. Madam Chair, this concludes. Objection, Your Honor. Or ma'am. I'm a lawyer, so I guess that's normal. I do have a question about one of the resolutions and would like to move to modify it or have open debate on it. All right, I'm going to. Which resolution? The first one on critical, critical race theory. Okay. If there's no objection, we will pull that resolution and take that separately Excellent. and vote on the rest. Okay. So we will continue to vote on the eight resolutions as a whole. Madam Chair, I now move that the eight resolutions before the committee be adopted as a whole. The motion has been made to adopt the eight resolutions as a whole. Is, is there a second? Okay. The motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any, is there any discussion? Hearing no further discussion, we will move to vote on adoption of the eight resolutions as a whole. All of those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All of those opposed, signify by saying no. The ayes have it, and the eight resolutions are adopted. Richard, you need to move the adoption of the one. All right. Well, I move <laughs> for the adoption of the resolution with respect to critical race theory. Motion is made. Now you can offer your amendments, Randy. All right. On, uh, do a nice job laying out critical race theory, but in paragraph 14, here's what we say. Resolved that while we do not ascribe guilt to the Democrat Party today for its past support of slavery and for creating Jim Crow laws, we hold the Democrat Party to account for embracing this racist ideology yet again today, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm troubled by uh, letting the Democrats off the hook. Perhaps we don't blame them for what happened in the 17 or 1800s, but they certainly continue to blame us. And I'm, Do you have alternative language you would yes, like to I, submit? I move that we strike the language that says that while we do not ascribe guilt to the Democrat Party today for its past support of slavery and for creating Jim Crow laws, and begin the paragraph with, we hold the Democrat Party to account for embracing this racist ideology today, strike the words yet again. Just pick up critical race theory fresh. Does that make sense? So the motion is to strike the first paragraph or well, the first sentence of that and pick up with we blame the Democrats. We hold the Democrat Party to account for embracing this racist ideology today. So strike the first part of that sentence. Begin with we hold the Democrat Party to account and strike the words yet again. We're getting a copy of the resolution. Madam Just Chair, because we I want to be very to clear the, on the motion. Uh, speak to the amendment. Uh, I think it is consistent with our beliefs that each individual should be judged by their own behavior. And I think that's why it's important that we not hold uh, anyone today responsible for the actions that were taken by people that were alive many, many years ago. That said, that as an institutional point of view, it's just a fact that the Democratic Party was the party that supported slavery against, um, uh, against the uh, abolitionist movement, and this party was born in the fight against slavery. And I think that that's a, an important part of our history, and it's worth mentioning that in passing. Uh, so I thought that the, the language that was in there captured those two thoughts both the idea that no individual should be held responsible for the action of folks that are no longer alive today, and also a reminder that as an institutional basis, it's our party that was the party that fought for civil rights. It's our party that brought the vote to women. It's our party that passed the, the three key amendments in the wake of the Civil uh, War, and, uh, and that that's a heritage that we ought to be very proud of. And so it's a passing reference, but I thought it was something that was worthy having in the resolution. Thank you, Richard. Justin is going to read the motion, uh, the amendment as uh, Chair, uh, Committee Man Corcoran has amended, and then we can open it up to discussion. So, Justin, will you please read the amended language as proposed by Chair, uh, Committee yeah. Man Corcoran? Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, in the third resolved, uh, the resolution would be amended to read, resolved, we hold the Democrat Party to account for embracing this racist ideology today, and we call on the Democrat Party to reconnect with its principal Jeffersonian roots, uh, et cetera. 
Is there a second? Sean Steele seconds. Discussion? We will take a brief, vote on the motion. Brief discussion. I'd just like to respond briefly to sure. what the chairman of the committee said. Um, I agree with just about everything that you said, but I've never heard uh, someone representing the Democrat Party apologize for their embracing of slavery, and I tend not to forgive folks who don't ask for forgiveness. Uh, given the fact that they continue to attack us and blame us for these atrocities from their own past, um, it's hard for me to support giving them a pass in this particular very important resolution. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any further discussion? We will vote on the amended language as put forward. If anyone needs me to read it again, we're happy to do so. All those in favor of amending the language to support National Committee Man Corcoran, signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, signify by saying no. No. The no's have it. The language will remain the same. I will need a motion again to resubmit that resolution. Madam Chair, I uh, submit the resolution on uh, critical race theory. I move that it be adopted by this organization. Is there a second? There is a second. A motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor of accepting and adopting this resolution signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed signify by saying no. The ayes have it. Thank you, Richard. I would now like to recognize Jeff Kent, Nash Committee Man for Washington and Chairman of the Standing Committee on Rules for the purpose of giving his report. Thank you, Madam Chair. Pursuant to Rule 10A1 of the Rules of the Republican Party, the Standing Committee on Rules met yesterday to consider all proposed rules amendments timely submitted to the committee. All RNC members were emailed copies of the proposed rules amendments prior to today's meeting. Madam Chair, a package of 10 proposed rule amendments were submitted to the Rules Committee for consideration during yesterday's meeting. This package of rules includes routine updates to the RNC rules, such as date changes and clarifying modifications. In addition, the organizational complications presented by the COVID-19 pandemic necessitate some small but important rule additions, such as allowing for electronic meetings and other provisions in case of future emergencies. During yesterday's meeting, the Rules Committee considered all 10 proposed rule amendments as a whole. However, each individual proposed rule amendment was reviewed and discussed in detail. Following that review, the Rules Committee voted on the package and the 10 proposed rule amendments were adopted as a whole with a unanimous vote. Those 10 rule amendments as adopted by the Rules Committee are before the full RNC for consideration today. All RNC members were emailed copies of the proposed rule amendments prior to today's meeting, and it is my intention for the full RNC to follow the same process as the Rules Committee. That is, the full RNC will consider these 10 proposed rule amendments as a whole. Thank you, Jeff. Is there any objection to considering the 10 rule amendments as a whole? Hearing no objection. <laughs> okay. Uh, very simple change that I will recommend for Rule 10A10. Move that we set it aside for very brief consideration. So what was your, your change again? Um, this is the rule that refers to the chairman of the Republican National Committee shall convene the temporary committee on the presidential nominating process at his discretion. Move that we amend the language to say at his or her discretion. <laughs> is there any objection? No. Then we'll proceed, okay? All right, so we will, with that change, uh, consider the 10 rule amendments. Thank you for recognizing that, Randy. Um, uh, as a whole, hearing no objection. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking that middle button. Also, check out our previous video by clicking the video on the right or a video you might enjoy by clicking the video on the left. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share this video on social media. Peace.